This was meant to be a fun unboxing video telling the story of my new guitar day, but it didn't quite go according to plan. I'm going to talk about the things that were wrong with the guitar when I got it, and I'm going to talk about customer service and my experience with them. Let me know what your comments are as you go and as each thing comes up, because there are a few points. Here's the video from the beginning with what was meant to be the actual real opening scene. Oh, and don't forget, give me a like and a subscribe. That's the doorbell, gotta go. It's here. I'm not overexcited at all, and I haven't spent all morning staring out the window waiting for the FedEx guy to arrive. Much. First impressions. Getting the box through the door I'm was how small the box is. Look at this, look. It's like, it's, it's waist height. It's it's really small, and and it's not even thick. It's arrived in reasonable condition. It's had a f the box has obviously had a few dings and bumps, um, so we'll see how well it's survived there. But it has come an awful long way. It's come from California to Northern England, and it's done it in just a few days. Oh, and FedEx got it to the right house as well because I was shitting myself in case it went to the wrong place because things usually do. So let's get it open and find out what's inside. I hope it's not shit. I sort of wish I hadn't said that. Keep watching. Got my knife at the ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Unboxing videos. Man, what's the deal with that? Okay, there we go. Oh, there's more package in there. That's good. That means that the corner that's bashed at the bottom will probably be protected by a bit more of that. Let's have a look. There it is inside. <laughs> Right, this is it. <laughs> yep, I've seen a load of these unboxing videos and, and and people getting new keezels and you know, today's my day. So I suppose what I better do is turn it around that way and uh, I'll open it. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but we'll see, I, I hope it's not shit. It won't be, it'll be great. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Ready? Three, two, one. What does it look like? Oh, yes. <laughs> How cool is that? Let me see. Wow. You know what? I've rarely seen one of these in person. Um, I've only ever had my hands on one of them, and it was a Holdsworth. Um, and it had the fattest neck ever, and I thought that was small, but this thing just looks, I knew it was small, it looks tiny, look at that. Oh, man. Wow, let's put this case down a second. Look at that. That, that looks so, so, ooh. Try it again. How does that look? The, um, the, wow. Okay. Yeah. This is the the walnut neck with the two maple stripes, five piece neck, uh, white white body. Um, ah, the logos. I was expecting. You know, you see the things on the on uh, on the builder, and the logo looks bigger. It's, it's quite understated. And people talk about the the, the joint in the paint. Yes, you, you can feel that actually. Um, is that going to be a problem? Right, when you get up to here, yes, you feel that difference. Um, but yeah, first impressions, let's do the test that everybody does. Is it in tune? No. No, it's not in tune. And let's have a look. This, unfortunately, is where it all starts to go just a little bit horribly wrong. Has it been set up properly? Why is that string doing that? Why is that doing that? Has that had a knock? Oh, oh, can you see that? If you can see it on camera, that post, the trem is not in that post properly. So either that's had a big knock or somebody said, I, I can't believe it left the factory set up like that with, with that set there. So I'm going to have to take this to bits and uh, see if I can sort that out. That's a bit disappointing, to be honest. 
Oh, two seconds. Right, what I've gleaned from watching other people's unboxing videos is that underneath here, in this gap behind the bridge, there's usually a fairly hard foam block that stops the tram being pulled backwards like that when it's in transit. That was missing on mine, it didn't have that. So that's probably why the bridge had jumped off the post. And then when I came back, my camera battery had died. So I wanted to carry on making the video. I didn't want to stop and charge the battery. I wanted a straightforward there and then reaction. So the rest of it was filmed on my phone, propped against a cup to hold it in place. So excuse the quality. So I've just dived from the whammy bar all the way down and it's popped straight off the post. If that happened in the middle of a gig, that would be a disaster. Let's just see if we can capture that happening. Look. Straight off the post. Mm. And the other thing I've noticed with the whammy bar, look. What? So the bridge issues, um, I've noticed it only pops out if you dive bomb fully and you bring the, the bar a little bit out away from the center. So, you know, realistically, unless you're gonna grab it and, and squeeze it that way, there, you're probably not gonna encounter that problem and not gonna make it pop out. So that I can live with. And as far as the bar dropping out's concerned, well, after a bit of exploring and faffing about and looking, in here, just tucked away, there's a little Allen screw that you can then tighten and it will give you a little bit more tension on the bar. So now mine sits, you know, reasonably loose. I don't like them mega tight. Um, I like them to, to flop away a bit and it's sitting just about right. Every now and again, I find I've got to tighten it ever so slightly and then it, it's back to normal. Should I be able to see a gap? If the camera can pick it up. Now, as far as the headpiece is concerned, that seemed a little bit worse than I thought. Um, I took another video of that on my phone and I sent that to Kiesel, to their customer service. And to be fair, they were superb. So this is what I sent to their customer service. It's not easy to film, but can you see how the headpiece is not sitting square on the end of the, head, of the neck? And then if I do the same thing, if the camera will focus with a steel rule, you see how if I move the rule, it doesn't seem to be moving square. Now I've nipped that screw up as tight as it'll go reasonably, but as you can see, there's still quite a considerable bit of play in it because the screw doesn't go full depth in the bushing. The other one on the other hand will go all the way down and will nip up properly. So it's only nipping up on one side and not the other. Now, as soon as they got that video, they emailed me back and said, yes, we agree. We think it is the headpiece and there's something wrong with it. So they sent me another one, a brand new headpiece. Once the new headpiece arrived and I fitted it, I trimmed down the bolt ever so slightly so that it would fit into the bushing and not bottom out and then nip in properly on both of those bolts. The tuning stability improved and the whole thing is much, much better. There is still, still ever so slightly a little gap that you can see in here, but it's only on here, on this part of it, not on this part of it like it was before. Um, and it seems to be held firm. And, and you know what? I'm quite happy with that. I think that should be okay. And here's the thing, looking at the colour, look at the colour of the guitar. Does this look like white white that I ordered, or does it look like classic white? And compare it to the image on their website showing the two colours. What colour do you think mine is? Is mine classic or is it white white? I don't know. Looks like classic white to me. Now, as far as the colour thing's concerned, I wanted to make sure I wasn't just making it up and losing my mind. Um, so I stuck a post on the, the Kiesel Facebook page. This is the post I put up. Okay, so there's the post. 
and there's the picture and you can see that there's my guitar and then in the background but i did say is this white white or is this white and the immediate response from everybody in the group was no mate that is definitely uh the classic white um and the first comment on there is from brandon ewing who you can see works at Kiesel Guitars, and he says, "Yeah, white should white white should be whiter than that." Um, please reach out to customer service, and then give me the email address. So that's what I did, and the response was, "Yeah, we'll remake it. It's the only way to do it." I put a couple of other bits and pieces in there that I was concerned about, but that was the answer. Remix was so I said, "Yeah, okay, remake it. Um, send me a label," and then I heard nothing. Then I sent another message about the headstock thing, which then which you've seen. Uh, but by that point, you know what, after all the positive feedback about everybody liking the colour and I really like it and I've bonded with the guitar and I just don't want to give it back. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've had a bit of a bumpy ride with this Kiesel. At the end of the day, I do like the guitar. And in fact, I really like the guitar. I've been gigging it a lot. Um, well, look. I think it sounds great. I think it plays great. Uh, it's very, very well built. There are... Uh, Things to, to say about the hip shot stuff, uh, the stuff that Kiesel have done, the quality of the timbers, the work that they've done on it, the fretwork, everything else is absolutely superb. Um, there will be more videos to follow answering the questions that I had about Kiesel guitars before I bought one and before I had one in my hands. Because it did take me, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, a long time to get round to, to actually pulling the trigger after staring at Kiesel's website and their builder, etc, etc, for a long, long time. So I will try my best to answer some of those questions and go into details about other parts of the guitar and, you know, all the things that I think about the details of it. But for now, that was my unboxing experience and my first so a month or two with the guitar. Would I recommend people buy the Kiesel? Well, you know what? As far as guitars are concerned, it's a great one. My dealings with the company, when I've spoken to them on the phone, they've been really, really good. Do I have any complaints? Well, not really, no. Uh, you know, draw your own conclusions, but that's my experience with the Kiesel. Don't forget, if you can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Appreciate, appreciate, subscribe.